Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. So it is hot here in Atlanta. Summer's here, and if it's not warm where you live, it will be soon. It's that time of year where we break out the shorts and frolic in the sunshine. Well, at least I frolic, you may not. But a big question that a lot of guys have is, what shoes do I wear with shorts? What shoes should I wear with shorts? That is a very good question, so today we're going to answer it. Today's video is a shoe short tutorial. Now for this video, we're going to use the most versatile pair of shorts that you can own. The flat front khaki short. This year, a lot of different designers and manufacturers are making khaki shorts that are a little bit more fitted. It used to be you'd go and buy a pair of khaki shorts and they used to be real big and voluminous. Voluminous? <laughs> they're big shorts. <laughs> now they're making them where they're a little bit tighter in the leg, a lower rise, they look fantastic. They're also not real super long, coming to just above the knee or mid-knee level. First, let's start by going over the different shoe options that we have for summer and shorts. We're going to start with the old summer favorite, the flip-flop. Now, in my personal opinion, there are two types of flip-flops. There's the ultra-casual flip-flop like this, or the dress flip-flop, if there is such a thing. Casual flip-flop, it goes with just about everything. Um, very casual, simple, they're made of rubber, you can buy them for like $2, they come in a zillion different colors, I have them in black, brown, gray, green, all different colors. Then you've got flip-flops that are a little bit more substantial, a little bit more dressy. Um, they're going to have some type of unique or interesting band, um, they're sometimes going to be made out of leather, which is going to cut down on the stink, and uh, they're a little bit more dressy. Two different flip-flops. The next option are sneakers. Now, we're not talking about athletic shoes that you wear actually for an event or an activity, like you're running, you're going to work out, and you wear sneakers, or whatever you call them wherever you are. These aren't something I would necessarily wear to be a style or fashion statement. These are more functional. Uh, so we're going to get rid of these. What I'm talking about are a cool pair of fashion sneakers. You can't go wrong by having a sleek, sexy pair of shoes that you can wear with jeans, you can wear with shorts. These are going to be a little bit more sturdy and a little bit more stable as opposed to a flip-flop for running around. If it's the day you're going to meet some buddies out at the park to play Ultimate Frisbee or whatever you're doing, laser tag. Do they even have laser tag anymore? <laughs> I'm dating myself. These are a great option. They're sleek, they're sexy, they're stylish, and uh, they're great. All right, one thing that you need to know, how to take care of your sneakers if you're going to wear them without socks like I do in the summer. Before you put them on, every time, you take baby powder, shake a little bit in there, put it down, and then tap your shoe like that. That is going to coat the inside of your shoe uh, with baby powder. It's going to cut down on the amount you're going to sweat. It's going to absorb some of the sweat, some of the odor. Um, when you get done wearing them, you take them off, shake a little baby powder in, tap it around, put them away. It's going to help keep your shoes smelling more fresh, and uh, because if you don't, they can get smelling funky as fuck fast. So, uh, great option, got to take care of them though. And our last option for summer footwear are driving moccasins. Now, we already did a video on driving moccasins, but I wanted to bring them back up because they are a great option for the summer and a lot of guys overlook them. Um, there are different levels of dressiness, if you will, in driving moccasins. Like this pair that I have, these Calvin Kleins, these look a little bit more like a shoe. They've got a more substantial sole. So these are a little bit dressier. So these might, if I was wearing like a graphic t-shirt, a pair of khakis, wearing these, um, might look a little bit odd because these are a little bit dressier than the outfit I have on. So another option would be maybe a more casual pair of driving moccasins. These actually look like a modified penny loafer, a little bit less structured. Um, they've got a little bit less of a substantial heel. Still comfortable, still a great option, but just a little bit more casual. But some of you are thinking, Aaron, that's the only options? Wait a second, what about mandals? I'm like, mandals? You know what mandals are. You've seen them. They're big, clunky, chunky sandals with straps and Velcro, and they are ugly, ugly, ugly. Um, you can wear them. I'm not going to wear them. My stylish friends aren't going to wear them, but you and your dad can wear them. Mandals? Sandals? Not so much. 
Before I go any further, I need to tell you about an essential item that you, every guy, needs for summer fashion. If you're wearing flip-flops, if you're going to the pool, I, if, I don't care if you're covering your feet all the time. Fingernail trimmers, clip your toenails. I don't want you looking like you can climb trees with those monkey toes. You need to trim your toenails. Take care of your feet. I'm not doing a video on how to trim your toenails because I don't want all my foot fetish freaks doing funny things to the vi- Ew. Take care of your feet. Trim your toenails. For all the people that are watching that are into feet, I did not mean to offend you. Don't send me messages. Uh, you're not freaks. You're just into feet and that's whatever. Don't send. I, I didn't. I'm sorry. Really. Let's play dress up. Alright, first outfit, super casual. I throw on a graphic t-shirt. I've got all my cool fitted khaki shorts. I'm going flip-flops. Like we said, two options. You've got the cheap plastic little rubber ones. Stylish, slim, sexy. Then you've got also the, the dressier flip-flops, a little bit more substantial. Matches my outfit perfectly. And I think you can see them. So yeah, flip-flops. Casual, summertime, great option. But then you're going to meet your buddies at the park to play football and have a catch and look like studs. And there may be women there, so you can't wear flip-flops. you got to have another option. What are you going to do? I know. Oh, wait. I've got my fashion sneakers. Perfect. Boom. You're there. You're ready. You're styling. You're fat. Woo. Look at that. You are ready to roll and you're ready to look great. You're wearing fashion sneakers. Can you see them? Boop. Looks good. Oh, man. Football was exhausting, but there were a ton of chicks there, or dudes there, whatever you're into, and you got some digits. You were taking them out for a drink later. So, you went home, you powdered your balls so that you weren't musty, you changed your shirt, and you put on, that's right, your driving moccasins, the casual kind. And you were ready. Boom, perfect. Oh, gosh, my, look at, are you kidding me? You are, damn. Casual, driving moccasins. But then you got to thinking. This person already saw me in a t-shirt and knows that I've got bulging biceps, so I want to do a little bit better and try and impress them a little bit more. So I'm going to change my shirt into a nice plaid, western-inspired shirt. I can still wear my shorts and my driving moccasins just fine. If I want to, I can also go with flip-flops. Now, I probably wouldn't wear the real casual flip-flops with this outfit. You could. I would probably opt for the dressier flip-flop. It just looks better, a little bit more polished, and uh, you look a little bit more put together. What's that? You want to go to a steakhouse? I thought you wanted a burrito and, and margaritas. Tequila, mama. No? Ah, steakhouse. Okay, I got to change. I'll be there to pick you up in 10 minutes. Bye. Damn. Bitch has expensive taste, but you gotta change. What are you gonna do? Now, because you watch this channel, you didn't freak out. You never let them see you sweat. You knew exactly what to do, and so you snapped into action. What did you do? You put on a fitted, summery, lightweight dress shirt. You rolled the sleeves up. You tucked it in. You put on a belt. Because you were going to a steakhouse, you put on your fancy driving moccasins, your dressy driving moccasins. You were looking good. What are you gonna do next? You are going to... Get her drunk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kind of. Guys, that's my video for today on summer footwear fashion that you wear with shorts. Um, I hope you got something from this and it wasn't just a big fat waste of your time. Um, thanks for watching. Now go forth and frolic in your fancy shoes.